Fresno police are searching for a suspect after a woman was shot and killed at a condominium complex in southeast Fresno last night. Investigators say 35-year-old Monique Horton was not the intended target of the shooter. CBS 47's Jennifer Ortega has been following the story. And Jennifer, this happened inside a gated complex. Catherine officials say the woman was driving her car right past the gate when a man dressed in all black started firing from his high caliber gun right at her car. What can you do? You know, I think the lady was driving, minding her business. Somebody walks up and starts shooting. This man that lives nearby says the neighborhood has gotten rough over the past couple of years. There's, there's shootings or somebody's getting shot almost like it's like an everyday occurrence. So, you know, um, I try, I try, I avoid it. Authorities say it happened just after 9 o'clock last night at the Ranchwood Condominiums on Winery Avenue. They say 35 year old Monique Horton was driving her car with her boyfriend in the passenger seat when shots started going off. Uh, the detectives on scene have located approximately 29 uh, shell casings. So a large uh, caliber firearm was used in this particular incident. Officers say a man in all black on foot started shooting at their car multiple times. The incident now being in investigated as gang related. Our victim, uh, we don't believe that she has any gang affiliation whatsoever. However, her boyfriend does appear to have some gang related ties and that's an aspect that we're going to be looking into. Horton was shot several times and rushed to the hospital but didn't make it. Police say this is the seventh murder this year in Fresno in comparison to the 13 murders this time last year. Detectives are currently canvassing looking for video evidence and also making contact with individuals to see if they can provide any details as to the actual shooting incident itself. Officials say the suspect is still out there. If you have any information that can help in this case, you're asked to call Fresno Police. Jennifer Ortega, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.